Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do a little articulation guide for uh, the various G.I. Joe bodies. Uh, I want to show you uh, how these things move. Um, so uh, going forward, when I refer to uh, various body styles uh, of G.I. Joe in future videos, uh, I can just refer back to this video and you can go and see the articulation for yourself. So we'll go. We'll start over here with the Timeless Collection. Uh, this, this particular G.I. Joe is based on the original 1964 design. So the articulation is very similar. Um, at the head, it gets neck movement like this, back and forth. A little bit of side to side, and also rotation. At the shoulder, he gets he can extend all the way up like this. Also, 360 degree movement. Um, this style of GI Joe body is held together with elastic. Uh, there's an elastic band that goes across like this, and then another one that goes from the head all the way down to the hip joints. At the bicep, there's a swivel swivel joint. I can show you that. At the elbow, it can extend up like this. At the wrist, articulation like this, and also a pivot. At the waist, he gets a little bit of side to side, some front and back movement, and also a spin. At the hip, he can kick out, he can kick forward, he can kick back. And there's also thigh rotation, because this is actually on a, on a ball joint up here. At the knee, he can bend back like this at the ankle, articulation like this, and also there's a pivot joint there. So really cool uh, articulation on the original 1960s style G.I. Joe. And I can also show you uh, there's different hand styles on the original G.I. Joe. There is the Kung Fu grip uh, in the UK that's sometimes referred to as gripping hands. And this was introduced uh, and made, made for holding weapons and accessories much better than the original hard hands. Next up, we have the Classic Collection G.I. Joe. This was introduced in the mid to late 90s and was used all the way into the 2000s. Uh, there, um, this body style was also used on a number of uh, Star Wars action figures. So Hasbro got a lot of use out of this particular body design. So you can see not quite as much head articulation as the original G.I. Joe back and forth, but there is a pivot and swivel at the shoulder. You can extend up like that. Also gets 360 degree rotation. This particular body is, is held together with firm plastic joints instead of elastic. So, so that means it's less likely to fall apart on you over time. At the elbow, articulation like that, and also a pivot. At the wrist, gets articulation back and forth like this. Also a pivot. Not too much articulation side to side or front and back at the waist, but there is a, a rotation at the hip and kick out. You can kick forward, you can kick back. At the knee, there's articulation like this, and there's also a pivot joint there. At the ankle, it gets articulation like this, and that also pivots. So that's that's the standard classic collection G.I. Joe. Pretty well designed and pretty sturdy. Uh, you can kind of beat up on these, and they won't fall apart on you. Then later on, they introduced the super articulated G.I. Joe. Uh, so head movement is fairly similar to the original. And then at the shoulder, this is where things start to get interesting. Extends all the way up, uh, just like on the classic collection version. But you can see this is a double jointed elbow. So, and then the pivot joint is at the uh, at the bicep instead. So, so you get a lot more articulation in the arm. Also interesting on this one, uh, you get articulation back and forth like this at the wrist which allows for holding weapons. And this is the gung-ho grip with articulated fingers. So a lot more articulation at the hand on this particular figure. And the wrist joint is the opposite on this way. It bends this way. So these, these hands are specifically designed for, for holding a weapon. So that's really cool. Then at the waist, he gets a lot more articulation in the classic collection. You can see a lot of back and forth, a lot of side to side and swivel. There's actually two elements to this torso, you can see there's two different parts. So that's what gives the added articulation. At the hip, you can kick out, you can kick forward, you can kick back, double arch, double, double jointed knee, and thigh swivel. At the ankle, similar articulation to classic collection. And you'll notice in, in this one, the foot is a little bit smaller than, than the, uh, the one with the classic collection. So a lot of articulation and uh, over time, these, these tend to wear out uh, the more you uh, articulate them. 
so they do kind of get a little floppy over time which is unfortunate but uh you know as long as you don't overuse the articulation it's it's a great figure fantastic lots of articulation so i have a bunch of these in my collection and it's really exciting to have them i'm going to show you one other hand design that was featured uh the, there's a spring-loaded gung-ho grip on this figure it's the only one i have in my collection that's like this so that's a variation on the gung-ho grip that's pretty much all i have for you uh in this video i hope you enjoyed it if you did please give it a like and if you want to see more videos like this uh think about subscribing to the channel because i will be doing more of this in the future until the next video i hope you're having a great day and thanks for watching.